也从愚昧中苏醒。Hi everyone! In today's video, we will talk about the upcoming new marksman Garo. Garo is a typical late-game marksman who specializes in long-range basic attacks. Similar to Telanus from Arena of Valor, Garo excels at poking and zoning enemies from a safe distance. She can deal massive long-range damage when farmed well in the early game. Garo's kit is designed to enable this long-range playstyle, with abilities that increase her range and provide area control. Now let's check out her skills. Garo's passive is called Piercing Arrow. Her basic attacks and skills prioritize enemy shields. If an enemy has a shield, her attacks will deal extra 100% damage to the shield until it's broken. Heroes with high amount of shield will face hard time dealing against her basic attack. Garo's first skill is called Enchanted Arrows. When activated, Garo enchants her longbow, increasing her attack range by 150 units, but also increasing the attack interval by 25%. Attack interval slows down her attack speed. Each basic attack consumes some mana, but deals extra magical damage every 0.5 seconds. Garo can press the skill again to cancel the enchantment. It will restore her normal attack speed and range, while also gaining some movement speed boost. After cancelling the enhancement, every basic attack that hits an enemy hero restores additional mana to Garo. With this skill she can increase her basic attack range, but it will slightly reduce her attack speed. You can also use Sun Chaser's active skill to further increase her basic attack range. It is one of her core items. You can combine her first skill and Sun Chaser's active skill to deal damage from very long distance. Garo's second skill is called Silent Arrow. She fires a piercing arrow in the targeted direction. This arrow deals magical damage to enemies it hits, while also silencing them for a short time and slowing their movement speed. After a one second delay, the area the arrow passed through explodes, dealing additional magical damage to enemies caught in the skill radius. The skill allows Garo to damage, silence, and slow multiple enemies along the arrow's path and deal explosion damage. It's very useful for clearing lane minions at early game. Her ultimate skill is called Sphere of Purity. Garo creates a magical circle around herself that lasts for 8 seconds. While inside this circle, Garo and her allies gain increased critical hit rate and attack speed bonuses. When the circle first appears, and when it disappears after 8 seconds, it deals magical damage to any enemies caught within its area. If any of Garo's allies are still inside the circle when it ends, they receive a temporary boost to their critical hit rate and movement speed for 3 seconds. This skill also has a passive effect. Whenever Garo lands a critical hit, it applies a 30% movement speed slowdown on the target for 0.5 seconds. If she lands another critical hit on the same target within 1 second, the slowdown is increased to 50%. This ultimate provides offensive bonuses while damaging enemies in the skill area. Garo's critical hits also allow her to temporarily reduce the movement speed of enemies she's focusing on. Overall, Garo is a strong marksman when the game reaches the later stages. A fully built Garo is a nightmare to deal with. She can easily take down any targets from a long distance if enemies are not careful enough. However, she has a lot of downsides too. Her main disadvantage is mobility. She doesn't have any escape skill, so it makes her very vulnerable against enemy assassins. Also, you need to farm properly in the early to mid game. Without proper farm, Garo can't do much. She is a high risk, high reward type of marksman. Garo really comes online as a late game threat once she has her core items, but she can struggle in the early mid game before accumulating enough gold and levels. As a long range marksman, Garo should position herself at a safe distance and use her extended attack range to poke and zone enemies. By utilizing her long range correctly, while being mindful of her lack of mobility. Garo can effectively zone and suppress opponents from a safe distance. Proper positioning is key to maximizing her strengths. Here's her top build and Arcana. In summary, Garo is a high-risk, high-reward marksman who requires careful positioning but can deal massive damage from range when played correctly. And that's the new marksman Garo. 
Do you think she will become popular in the current meta, or are you waiting for other heroes? Let me know your answer in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.